Hello everyone, my name is Alex and today I'll be showing you three fun ways to use our very own Fermilab fish sauce. Fish sauce is an umami-rich condiment that can be used to enhance the savory qualities of any dish. It's an extremely versatile ingredient and can be used in sauces, soups, stews, and marinades. Fish sauce is an amazing low-sodium substitute for salt because it allows you to reduce sodium in your cooking without having to sacrifice any flavor. Its ability to add the umami, earthy, and savory element to dishes makes fish sauce a staple ingredient in East Asia and Southeast Asian cuisine. Unlike many other brands of fish sauce, ours contain no MSG, no preservatives, no artificial coloring, and no added sugars, just the way it should be. Fish sauce will take any dish to the next level, so if you'd like to take your cooking to the next level, keep watching. The first recipe we'll be showing you today is a super popular dish at our Burma Love and Superstar restaurants, Chicken with Fresh Mint. This is a Burmese Chinese version of the herby Thai dish, Lop. You can also find this recipe in our number one Amazon bestseller, Burma Superstar Cookbook. Here's what you'll need. Chicken breast or thigh, minced garlic, minced ginger, dark soy sauce, Thai chilies, canola oil, sambal olek, ground cumin and mustard seeds, salt, limes, Fermilla fish sauce, mint, and cilantro. In a small bowl, mix together the fish sauce, sambal oleg, dark soy sauce, and salt. If not using soy sauce, you may need a pinch more of fish sauce. Whisk all together and set aside. In a wok or large skillet, heat the oil over medium heat. Tilt the wok so the oil pulls to one side and add the garlic. Fry for about one minute or until light golden. Then, use a slotted spoon to remove the garlic, leaving the oil in the wok. Heat the wok over high heat. When the oil is hot, add the minced garlic and ginger. Stir fry for a few seconds, and then add your chicken. Using a spatula or wooden spoon, stir fry the chicken briefly. Then, press the meat against the sides of the wok. This will help increase the surface area and decrease how much the chicken will steam. Stir in the mustard cumin blend, sambal mixture, Thai chilies, and fried garlic. Stir constantly until the liquid just lightly coats the meat. Add your chopped mint and cilantro and give it a good mix. Transfer your chicken onto a plate and serve with cilantro sprigs and lime wedges. And there you have it, our famous chicken with fresh mint. For the second recipe, we'll be making a classic Vietnamese condiment called Nuc Jam. It's eaten with pretty much every Vietnamese dish, from rice plates, spring rolls, and vermicelli bowls. So, here's what you'll need. Minced garlic, lime juice, vermilla fish sauce, sugar, and Thai chilies. In a small bowl, whisk the sugar into a fourth cup of water until it dissolves. Then add in the rest of your ingredients, stir to combine, and you're all done. It's that simple. Enjoy this immediately or refrigerate in an airtight container for up to three days. You can serve this with just about anything, but today we're using this as a dipping sauce for our fresh spring rolls. For the final recipe, we want to show you that fish sauce can be used in non-Asian dishes, like pasta. Today, we'll be using our fish sauce to make a flavorful red sauce you are sure to love. Here's what you'll need. Minced garlic, onions, tomatoes, peeled, seeded, and chopped, vermilla fish sauce, carrots, tomato paste, and basil. In a wok or large skillet, heat some extra virgin olive oil over medium heat. Gently cook the onion, carrots, and garlic until translucent and tender. Then add your tomatoes, basil, tomato paste, salt and pepper to taste, and finally, our star ingredient, vermilla fish sauce. Next, bring to a low simmer and cook until thickened. This should take about 15 to 20 minutes. Serve with your favorite pasta and enjoy.
Thank you so much for watching. We hope you learned something new and enjoyed seeing a few of our favorite ways to use fish sauce. All of our products will be linked in the description. Make sure to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button and let us know what you want to see in our next video. Thank you and see you next time.